Hello seekers, welcome to Panish Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. Rahu has moved into Bharani Nakshatra. It's 14th of June. And on this day, Rahu, once it moves out of Kritika Nakshatra, this starts a very new and a very different kind of journey of the Mayavi planet Rahu, the planet that is the master of illusion. It is the great magician. And this journey is in a very occult nakshatra, the nakshatra ruled by Venus. And this nakshatra is Bharani nakshatra. In this video, I am going to discuss uh, in details, in depth about how Rahu as an entity is going to interact with the energies of Bharani. And you must understand both on the material plane as well as on the spiritual plane. So stay tuned till the end and you will get to know much more about this transit. But before that, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon so that you don't miss another update. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for quick and interesting stuff. And for consultations, please drop me an email. The email ID is in the description box below. Let's begin with the journey of Rahu in this unique world of Bharani. Bharani. What does Bharani mean? Bharani is the sense of transformation. Now, the word literally Bharani means to bear. Or a lady who, who bears the child for nine months in, in her womb and then completely transforms into, into the role of mother and there is a life out of another life. The level of transformation is so huge that this nakshatra talks about journey between two dimensions. It is also represented by, by an interstellar travel because the soul is not from this dimension but the body is of this dimension. It is made of the Panch Mahabhut, the five elements that comprises this entire material universe that we can see and feel. But the soul, who we truly are, the Atman is pure energy and the part of Paramatma and it has nothing to do with these five elements. So how does we go into this body? Because there is a process. The process happens in the womb. The soul enters the womb and what comes out is a human form. A soul wrapped inside a human body ready to work and function as if you are teleported and transported from a different dimension to three-dimensional world and now you are experiencing this metaverse of three dimension. It is same as we transfer our consciousness to a two-dimensional metaverse that we are creating right now and we experience that dimension as we experience this dimension here. It can be mind-blowing. It can be mind-bending phenomena but all this is very common to Bharani Nakshatra. That is why in the Shastras Bharani Nakshatra is represented by Yoni which is the gateway to two different worlds. And the guardian of that gate is Bhagwan Yamraj. Yamraj the Suriputra is guarding the gate and it is called the Lord of Dharma. It defines which soul will take birth, where, when and how. And you can now imagine the power of this nakshatra. This nakshatra falls in the Aries zodiac sign which is ruled by Mars and Mars means masculinity. But this nakshatra is ruled by Venus which is an absolutely feminine side. Bharani is true feminine energy wrapped around with the Martian energy. And what happens when male and female energy come together on a single plane? Creation happens. And the Bharani is a nakshatra that creates, but creation takes time. To create something extraordinary, one has to be patient. One has to bear the journey, suffer all sorts of challenges, face them, conquer them. 
and then what comes out is the power of creation and this this creation will only happen after some time and that is why whenever a planet goes in bharani nakshatra it won't give any immediate result but initially it will transform you completely and then at the end it will give you the right result whatever the type of karma you have done during the transit are we talking about energy vibrations yes rahu is nothing but vibration that we all experience in our life and that is why it doesn't have a physical existence in astrology rather it is called chaya grah or a shadow planet means you can experience this but you don't know what it is just like an electromagnetic wave on this electromagnetic platform the mobile laptop or tablet or whatever platform you're watching this video my words were pre-recorded sent through electromagnetic waves stored in a digital platform in the form of transistors and electronics and whenever you try to access it there is a wireless communication happening from a remote server somewhere in the in the in the world and now you can access that data such a brilliant technology but this technology is rahu's technology rahu is not always bad rahu also defines advanced technological feat advanced scientific exploration because it is also curious to know you can't breach a boundary without the without the blessing of rahu so when this mysterious planet rahu the planet of karma which defines the flow of the current meets bharani nakshatra this explodes the cosmos with the energy of creation and the kind of creation that you have never experienced before this may mean lot of internal transformation ex finding new species creating new technology in the world that will completely transform humanity maybe a completely redefining how the world operates rahu in bharani is set for the transformation of the yuga when rahu enters this bharani nakshatra try to understand on 14th of june venus and rahu will be hardly 1 degrees apart and both will be in bharani nakshatra so this transit of rahu serves some cosmos celestial purpose it has this cosmic uh, purpose of creation and what is is this trying to create this can actually create enormous amount of energy if harnessed correctly will completely change our life for good and it will take us to the higher dimension higher pedestal but for some this can be destructive because bharani is a nakshatra which defines both life and death and when we talk about life and death we are talking about two extreme scenarios of life two extreme possibilities so bharani is a a nakshatra of infinite possibility but this possibility can also land you in trouble this possibility can also take you to the occult this possibility can also push you to the dark forces and when rahu enters the chances that the dark forces within may speak to you more increases because of the very nature of rahu this rahu transit in bharani becomes extremely occult extremely tantric in nature but how does it affect a common man like you and me for a common man this energy is more about maybe a tremendous amount of change in their life such as career investment business the way you lead your life the way you treat your relations so we need to actually figure out what are the areas of our life this rahu transit will impact and what should we do about it hmm we were talking about rahu in bharani nakshatra this energy of rahu in bharani is occult is creative but remember venus rules taurus and libra zodiac sign so definitely when rahu enters bharani it will be in affecting taurus and libra in your birth chart in the kalpursh in a very generic way if i have to see what this two zodiac sign represent it represents 
the entire personal space of an individual of an individual how the second bhava the taurus represents financial security security of the family the family values what you believe what you trust what you speak what you eat it's all about you and the seventh house is how the circumstances deal with you how the world deals with you if you have a business how do you interact your spouse so the first area where rahu transit in bharani will have a impact will have an impact is personal space relations also if you are in rahu mahadasha rahu antardasha pratyantardasha or if your rahu is with venus or mars or if you have any planet in bharani nakshatra you will see greater impact of this transit relation wise you will see that if you are suffering from a from a bad relation and something is brewing inside your heart it will explode it will explode and it will spread the negativity around you so be very careful what you are brewing inside your heart and mind and the only way you can stop this is by brewing positivity and optimism and happy happy feeling because if you don't do that when the explosion happens it becomes destructive it becomes the energy that will that should on one hand kill the negativity will end up killing your dreams hopes and desire so in bharani when rahu is in this nakshatra it talks about where your energy flow is where you are targeting your energy it all all depends on your proper understanding of life because if you miss target it is like a missile being misfired it will have collateral damage it will bring casualties what you dream what you desire what you are targeting in relationship matters the most and materialistic desire is going to grow because of the venusian and martian energy be careful what you are desiring in life materialistic desire is not bad we are after all material beings we have to survive in this planet not everyone is a born saint not everyone is destined destined to be a saint but everyone is supposed to walk in the path of spirituality at least take the first step towards being a saint and rahu in bharani will give you that opportunity but you know all the maya will try to pull you back it will become a fight between maya and the sanyas you must create the right balance yes bharani will create the right balance on one side bharani if it increases maya it also increases the the spiritual energy both will be balanced because this is controlled by yamraj and the first duty of yamraj is it will not let dharma die it will balance everything he is the god of balance and that is why venus also rules libra the zodiac of balance and the sole purpose of venus is to balance the celestial forces both the yin and the yang in a way that it none of them breaches or become in excess otherwise the entire matrix or the purpose for which this matrix was created will collapse from the from the perspective of husband and wife relation you must be more cooperative you must have less expectations this is the right time when you can spark your love maybe through a through a trip through a gift maybe through a materialistic angle but at least it will spark the necessary love try to have a common goal and this will resolve family issues any desire any lust of power and money will only take you to the lower energies and then rahu will have the last laugh because rahu is a dev he is not your enemy but he wants to take a test how addictive you are to the money if you are see money is the need money is how the world operates if it's fine you wanting to become rich is absolutely okay provided your attempt of becoming rich doesn't affect you negatively or the people around you you are not taking a wrong path but if you take the right path things will become absolutely fine people involved in career will see that you will learn new technology you will go into completely new career your your plane of existence in your career will change and transform especially if you are influenced somehow by rahu or venus in your birth chart 
And even if you're not, it will indirectly tell you what you should exactly do. But remember one thing, the inner gut feeling that tells you that, hey, you are not in the right career. Hey, this is not what you want. Hey, you can do better should also tell you how can you improve? How can you shift? How can you change? Or do you have the capacity? Today, I want to become a Bollywood celebrity, but do I have the capacity? How will I become? Or if I want to become a scientist, am I at the right age to start the process? All these questions must be answered because Rahu in Bharati can create desires that are impossible to achieve. So in your career, be more practical. Remember, while Rahu is in Bharani Nakshatra, Saturn from Dhanishta will have third aspect on this Rahu and that is very, very important. Observe what you will lose and then if you can afford to lose or if you have a backup, then you can take the first step in the career, be it changing your domain, be it starting a new business, be it starting a new career. Transformation is inevitable. You may see the hierarchy changes, the boss changes, your work changes, the way you approach your work changes, but you need to harness this power because Rahu in Bharani is like this compulsive energy orb that encircles us and we don't know what to do with it. So if you are tuning into that spiritual power, you will be able to figure out what to do with it. Otherwise, it can irritate you. Take care of, of women around you. Feminine energy should be respected and once you respect the feminine force, feminine energy, once you respect and coexist in a way that it doesn't trouble neither you or the world, you will see that this is the right time for new beginnings in life. So in case of marital issues, if you are facing a lot of marital trouble, family trouble, you must understand one thing that illusion are bound to happen. But the difference between illusion and reality is your test. And that's how the Bharani is going to judge what you deserve. And one who becomes successful will deserve the brilliant and one who doesn't deserve will have to restart the process. It's all about learning. It's all about schooling. So Bharani is that energy which first will take the step, which will brew the irritation inside you and then will ask you, can you bear this? If you can, then only you will get that level of transformation. Otherwise, it's, it, it won't touch the threshold and it will be a spike and fall and a spike and a fall and a spike and a fall and you will not end up going to the next level. So when this nakshatra, when this transit talks about going to the next level, it only talks about to people who are ready to take that jump, that leap of faith, but when you're taking that leap of faith, you must also remember a lot of other factors like the presence of Saturn and Jupiter. So it's kind of a mixed transit. Not just Rahu transit in Bharani is going to impact you. There are other planets also. And from the financial perspective, when you talk about Bharani, it talks about long-term goals. When you're investing in something, market may collapse. There may be, uh, we know that there can be recession in the future, whatever be the case. Long term approach is what you will, what will gain you, give you the benefits in finances. If you are thinking of short term, you are not going to get anything out of it. Rahu will only give you the assumption of, 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 or the illusion of benefit. It's like the mirage effect. But when you reach there, the goal goes further and further and further. But if you are targeting something beyond February 2023, beyond April 2023, beyond one to two years, or if you are planning something for like five years, 10 years down the line, then it will give you good result because you are ready to wait, you are ready to transform. Because Bharani also means journey and journey, in a journey, you must wait till you reach your destination. If I board a train today from point A to point B, and if I become anxious about reaching point B, that is only going to affect me because train doesn't run by my anxiety. I must accept the process and wait. Patience is going to take you to places. And impatient behavior is only going to give you negative result when Rahu will be in this nakshatra. 
Maya will also increase. So you must be able to figure out between lucrative career option, sweet talks, beautiful things, high possibility of a bright future. Then every time you must question, is this real? Am I in an oasis or is this a mirage? This oasis mirage effect, if you can differentiate, you will be experiencing some really positive and extraordinary transformation in your life. Some sacrifice is also needed. Because Rahu, if it is going to give you, will also take something away. Con continuously track the position of Mars and Venus throughout the year. Because whenever Mars and Venus are positive, you will see some creation happening. Whenever Mars and Venus are negative, you will see some destruction happening. Because Bharani is both creation and destruction. Both come together. So this was a brief take on Rahu transit in Bharani Nakshatra. How it is going to impact your mind and everybody's life. Be ready. Welcome the transformation. And let's pray to Goddess Mahakali and Kalabhairav and Bhagwan Shiva. Om Namah Shivaya. And may Shiva bless us all with the powerful force of creation. Thank you for watching this video till this end. Ascendant wise analysis of this transit will come soon. Stay tuned. Please subscribe so that you get notifi notified. Also follow me on Telegram channel. The link is in the description box below where I upload links so you can easily get access to all my links from all platforms there. We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, Namaste.